This is Isaac with Business Office Outfitters and Office Furniture Outlet. We're two, here at Nikon 2018. I am at the Mocket display. Uh, big long display, it goes back a couple aisles. They've got a ton of products here. Uh, what they specialize in is items that enhance the functionality of your existing furniture. They do grommets, hardware, wireless chargers, insets you can add to your conference tables and so much other cool stuff. So we're going to talk to Billy, the marketing manager here, and he's going to give us a rundown of some of the products and some of the cool new things they're doing this year. Um, this is Billy Peel. He's the marketing manager. He's going to talk to us about some of their products and about some of the unique and different things they're doing this year. Um, one of the first things I wanted to ask you uh, was, you know, tell me a little bit about Mocket. Like, what do you guys do and, 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 and what drives you as a company? What kind of stuff is your specialty? Sure. Well, we specialize in providing fine architectural hardware for your fine furniture. So what we like to do is try to optimize efficiency and comfort in workspaces. Gotcha. We provide accessory lines. Uh, basically think of it as like the finishing touches for your furniture. We do all of the, all the hardware, all the widgets, all the, all the bells and whistles that, that other people kind of like would maybe not necessarily think of when they first start building a project, but it's always, it's always the afterthought. But they don't realize that the hardware is one of the most important elements of, the, of your design because because fine hardware will actually accent and complement the furniture and make it really stand out. And that's, that's what we like to try to see with our parts. Gotcha, fantastic. Now, so you guys have God knows how many products. I mean, everything, door handles, wireless chargers, shelving units, you name it. Um, when you guys are coming up with new product ideas, how do you go about it? Uh, there's a number of different ways. We, we do a lot of in-house design. We do a lot of, we do a design competition where we encourage people to, to enter and they have a chance to, to win a cash prize plus royalties. And it usually just starts with um, kind of a think tank in the office where we do a lot of 3D printing. Uh, I think the 3D printing has really revolutionized our, our you know, concept to part timeline. Um, because that's allowed us to print in-house without having to send out for tooling and re you know, redesign and all that. So now we're able to take what used to take months or years and do it in weeks or hours. So that's been a huge help for us. Um, and we're always looking to push forward. We have, at any given time, we have, you know, 25 to 50 new products, at least, you know, somewhere in the production process or at least uh, at least in the, in the very beginning stages of concept. So we're, we're always, expanding our line and, and growing any way we can. Oh, fantastic. So, so tell me, do you have like any of that, any new concept? I mean, we're at Neocon 2018. Sure. What do you got here in, the, in terms of new stuff? What's well, funny you should ask. We actually have a bunch <laughs> of stuff over here. We can go check it out. What a coincidence. Yeah. Come on, let's check it out. Yeah. So right. essentially what we're looking at here is sort of our sandbox, if you will. This is where we, uh, this is where we start printing designs and then we'll take a look at it and decide if it, needs, if it needs any refinement, if we need to change the dimensions at all, change the specs, uh, or, or if we just flat out decide like, wow, we didn't, didn't think that it was gonna actually come out looking like this, like I'd look different on paper or the rendering. Now that I see it, I see how we can change it. Um, but once we go from the, the 3D printed model, we can take this um, along with the CAD file to our fabricators and then just start production and we can actually see a product come to life uh, in, a, in, a, in a matter of uh, you know weeks. Did any of this stuff come from your design contest that's right here? Yes, okay, so we're actually accepting entries now for our design competition. Uh, as I mentioned, we offer a cash, uh, cash prize plus royalties uh, for based on sales for 15 years. Oh wow. And anyone's encouraged to enter. We get, we get entries from all over the world and we usually have multiple winners every year. Uh, so there's a lot of really exciting new parts I and mean, we have somebody will take a, a an existing product line and do a line extension. Like for instance, we have, uh, these are shelf brackets. It would hug the shelf on the top and the bottom and it slides up and down a track so you can dictate where you want it to be and you can add and you can add more or, or take away as needed. Uh, we have other concepts like door handles. So you can imagine you had two of these back to back. That looks like a weapon. <laughs> yeah, it, it kind of does, doesn't it? So this is for like so a, a like a conference bit. like a conference door or a double door. Right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Interior doors. Yep. Awesome. Um, we've had a number of different designs, like a multi-purpose could be an under under desk uh, purse hook or wall hook. So we call it the duo. It's kind of a dual purpose. Gotcha. So you said you 3D print this stuff. Right. So when do you start 3D printing? Uh, so what we like to do is um, take an idea and print it out so that everyone has kind of a working sample. We can all 
look and you know look at and touch and feel and decide what changes need to be made at that point. Um, and then we and then we go back and we do it again and again and again until we get it just right. Um, we we have several in the office. So this is one of the smaller ones we brought with us. is a resin pr uh, resin 3D printer, which actually comes out with a much better quality finished product. You can actually paint, polish, um, finish any of these. The other ones we have um, a much larger Gigabot 3D printer. It's like a, a big cage for the larger scale oh, projects. Gotcha, gotcha. So. Very interesting. And that saves you a lot of time, you said. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. All right, well, hey, let's take a look at some sure. of your existing products. Oh. Okay, so what do we got here? So we have a number of different power options for uh, in-desk integration. A lot of them flip up, pop up. So a lot of these will have power, USB, da uh, modular data options, AV options. This one would be for like a conference room, work desk. These that pop up, they have a gas spring with an enclosed cylinder underneath. Uh, we have others that are just kind of fun and functional. They have 15 different colors, USB or power. And these are su super easy to mount anywhere. They're a threaded cylinder about that deep with a locking ring. And they can go into the arm of a chair, into uh, a nightstand, anywhere. They're just super versatile. This is one of our favorites. And then we have other just fun stuff. So we kind of like to, uh, you know, you can't, if you can't hide the power, at least make it attractive on the Absolutely. surface. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I could just, I could just drill a hole and put this on my desk. Yeah, so it'd be a round cutout, um, and again, just a locking ring underneath. Some of the rectangular units, you would just cut out, drop it in from the top, and there would be little L brackets underneath to secure it in place. All of them are just plug and play. You can retrofit your furniture, you know, aftermarket. It's super easy to install any of these, so. And all kinds of neat functions. We have edge mount, uh, end desk, the flip up. We have, um, Got a little uh, light ring I see here. Right. That's, that's pretty cool. We have some to mount under the desk, and then we have freestanding ones as well, like you, portable chargers. Do you have anything in the way for like a more traditional executive like conference table? Sure. Oh, we have tons. Do <laughs> we have? <laughs> Could, can you show me a yeah, couple? Yeah, of course. So this would be on a larger scale. You're accommodating multiple users at the same time for power, for data. These are all modular. You could do HDMI. VGA audio, if you're going to power a, a, uh, a presentation up on the big screen. We have some that hide away, flip up. These actually roll over, oh, so wow. when you're not when you're not using it, it's nice and clean, very minimalist. Um, and some of these go up to quite larger pieces where you can actually stow cabling into the bottom with that tray there. Uh, we have basically anything you can think of, we try to carry, and if we don't, we can customize it. We can always uh, do any specialized configuration you might need. Gotcha. You know, b before we wrap this up, there's one thing. I'm looking over here. I see. What are these? These uh, colorful things here. Oh, okay. Yes. So we again, we sell the hardware, just the brackets, and this would be like a, a panel grip or a panel bracket. So you can create a partition in a shared workspace. You can put up a privacy screen between two people that are working independently. Uh, you can kind of. Uh, delineate the, the the space by adding these privacy panels or whatever. So, and these can be used for underneath for like to hang a modesty panel oh, at wow. a reception okay. desk. So gotcha. they they have a lot of uses as well too. So if you and me are working across from each other, we don't have to sit there and stare at each other all day. <laughs> it, you, you know, and you, you can get up to 24 inches high. So yeah, if you really don't want to see your neighbor, you don't have to. <laughs> they right, don't fantastic. have to be clear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, hey Billy, it was a pleasure speaking with you today. Um, I will certainly see you next year at Neocon. Right, and you can always find us at www.market.com in the meantime. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you, sir.